Hey everyone, it's Natalie. So today I'm going to be doing a video for you about how I play false lashes. And these are just going to be some kind of tips, tricks, and things that I've learned just through trial and error basically about applying false lashes. So I thought I would make this video just to help you guys out for those of you that kind of want to learn how to apply false lashes but you're having some issues. Just hopefully these things I'm about to tell you, they'll make your life a little bit easier that way you won't have to learn through the trial and error method. So first off, I just use the e.l.f. dollar lashes because they're cheap and I like them. I kind of want to expand more out there and try different kinds but I'm just really practicing with these as well because I don't wear them all the time and I just want to get used to applying them as well as used to wearing them because when you have false eyelashes on you can kind of fill them a little bit. Some people can feel them more than others. But yeah, so first off is you get your eyelashes, and uh, e.l.f. has two different kinds at Target, or those are the two kinds I've seen. The natural lash one, which is lash like this, and they also have the dramatic lash ones, and those are the ones I'm wearing right now. So they do come with a little thing of glue right here, but I don't like this too much because I don't feel it sticks as well. I use this one right here called Lash Grip, or I mean there's tons of different glues out there. There's uh, the Duo one, or I believe there's one by Bre Revlon. So there's all different kinds out there, but this is the one that I use. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and take the lash off. And usually when they're in the package, they'll tend to have a tiny bit of glue on there that just makes them adhere to the packaging. So you want to take the lash off, and you can see that it's smaller and shorter right here and then it kind of gets longer and bigger and you want to go ahead and take it and just kind of hold it up to your eye and measure it to see how long or short the lash is compared to your eye because this thing right here if I just go and apply it to my eye it's going to be longer than my eye and it would be like all the way out here so I need to check it so you're just going to take it and kind of set it on there and since it has a little bit of that like glue, it'll kind of give you an idea. So I want mine to go to about right here. So if you can kind of see that, that means I need to cut a quarter of it off. And when you cut the lashes off, you can go ahead and kind of with um, like scissors. But I actually saw someone else did this. Uh, they got nail clippers. And it's a lot easier because then it's more precise. You want to make sure that you're cutting it on the part that's longer so the outer part of the lash. You don't want to cut on the inner part because you want that to go on the inner part of your eye. So you would cut the outer part right here. So I would cut it about right there. And then another thing is when you apply the lashes, I recommend that you line your upper waterline in black or dark, dark brown. I usually do black because my lashes are black. And then I usually line right here the upper lash line and then you also want to get the liner kind of in between your natural lashes. This will help the lashes just blend into your eye more. I mean some people will still be able to tell like if you have false eyelashes because they will be longer and the lashes will all be even and my lashes for <laughs> example are not. So people will still be able to tell oh you're wearing false lashes but won't be like whoa you're wearing false lashes I can see the f false lashes and the gap in between your real lashes. You want it to kind of blend together. So first off, you want to do that, and it's really great to use something that's waterproof and long-lasting. That way you don't need to touch it up because it's just going to stay that way. And now we're going to start a little bit backwards. So I'm going to be taking these off to show you. Now you could just go ahead and yank on the eyelash, which some people do. I like to kind of get my nail just right under where the little line is. I can't think of what it's called. So just right under there, that where you're getting it from the bottom of the lash, and then you pull. And just take it off. And it took some of the liner off. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of the black liner right on, and then I will show you guys how to apply it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get your glue and make sure the cap is off, and then get your lash. You can go ahead and use a Q-tip, uh, a toothpick, or something like that to apply the glue right here. I normally don't just because 
I don't know. I just don't want to get anything, and I can do it this way. <laughs> so uh, you want to get a little bit of the glue out, so about that much, and then just line it only on the band. And just make sure that you don't get it down into the actual lashes. Because if you get it into the actual lashes right there, then you risk making them all shiny, because then you'll be able to see the glue later. So you want to go ahead and get it all over like that and then you're just going to let it dry a little bit. You can see right now that the glue is very wet and it's very white. As soon as it gets more of like an off-white, like almost yellowish, but it still looks a little bit wet, then that's when you want to apply it because that means it's going to be uh, tacky and that's what you want. You want it to be that tacky texture, that way that when you apply it, it's going to stick. And also when you're applying the glue, you want to make sure you get a little bit extra on the ends, so on the end of the outer part and on the end of the inner part, because those are the two places you really, really want it to stick. Of course, you want glue all along the rest of the band, but especially right there because you want it to stick down. You don't want it to be lifted up a little bit. So, uh, And also the lashes that tend to have a very flexible band, they're a little bit easier to work with. So if you're first learning, then I would recommend using these ones. The e.l.f. Dramatic Lashes are a little bit more flexible than the ones with the natural lashes. And natural lash ones, I'm not sure if you guys can see. But they have this band that's just very solid. And then the Dramatic Lash ones, they have a clear band and they have like little gaps. So when you apply it, it just... Uh, is it will be easier. It's not as stiff and not as hard to work with. Now, before you put the lashes on, I recommend that you curl your natural lashes up and then just apply a coat or two of mascara. That way they're going to blend into your lashes and it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so we have our glue all ready to go now. And first you're going to want to apply this outer part since I'm doing this eye. You want to set it down in the place that you want it to be. Now here's the end of my eye right here. I want to make sure that I get it uh, just a tad inside of that. One big problem when I first learned how to apply this is I was going more about right here, the outer corner of my eye, and I would set the end of the lashes right there. And then it would make my eyes look kind of like sad, and the lashes would be all the way down there, so it looks kind of awkward. So just go a little bit in. So there's the end of my eye, a little bit inside of right there. And first, just place that part. And just let it sit for a tiny bit. And you want to make sure that that's in the right place. That's where you want it to be. And then you just have to worry about applying the rest of it. Now you can go ahead and do this with tweezers as well. But I'm getting kind of used to applying it. And then you're just going to gradually press down. And then you also want to kind of push it down as you're applying it. So it goes down right on top of your natural lashes. Okay, so we have that done. And then we do the last part. Hardest part for me is getting that inner part right there. And then I'm just going to hold down the very inner part of the lash. Just make sure it's in the right place. and just push it down. You want to make sure it has that same natural curve as your eye. You don't want it to be all like jaggedy. Okay, and then we're just going to let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to push the lashes up. Okay. And then I'm going to push them up a little bit. That way we get them how I want. And then you have the lashes on. Now another thing you want to make sure that you do in case uh, the glue is going to dry clear but you still may be able to kind of see it. So you want to make sure that they really blend into your lashes, right? So go ahead and take your black eyeliner that you used before and right here on the end of the band just go ahead and put some of the black eyeliner on top of that and also make sure that you just kind of get it right there on your uh, waterline. That way it really blends into it so you can't see the end of the band. 
and uh, that's it. Alright, so I hope this was helpful to you guys. Another thing, if you don't want to do the full strip of eyelashes, you can also do half lashes, and those are really easy, because then you're literally just putting it on the very outer part, like I showed you guys, and then you just have to press down about, like, right there. So you can go ahead and take lashes. Uh, you want to make sure the very inner part, the part that's going to be uh, about right here, is the inner part of the lash, and you just do like that half right there. But those are really easy to apply if you just want to practice doing that. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Uh, please leave any questions or comments down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.